Good morning, you beautiful people. It is so great to see your smiling faces. Today is a Wednesday. We have about 70 or so open work orders and we got a tech that's here today helping out and me. So let's go ahead and jump right into these work orders and knock as many out as we can. Mid-rise, high-rise, front door sticking, lock sticking. It's not one to lock. I'm rubbing a little bit. It's just rubbing right here. No catching. I know it's hard to hear. I know it's hard to visualize this without feeling it, but hopefully the sound convinces you. Good to go. Oh, it's a little loose. So I do gotta loosen under here so I can tighten this up in here. I'm gonna bring this down quite a bit. Slide this back down. Slide this bracket back over. That ain't going nowhere. But there she is. Tight as can be. We got a drip, handle is all the way off in the off position. Remove the shower diverter handle, it's just twist to the left. Remove the shower and bath handle, held in by a Allen screw. Remove the cover plate, held in by two Phillips head screws. Now we need to shut off the water. I wish I was a tile remodeler because I love, I would love to cover up water shutoffs. At least they did cut the tile long enough for us. Turn off the hot and cold water. Check to make sure that the water is actually turned off. Looks good. Four screws hold in this cover plate. You don't want to drop them back here. To help prevent that, I shove a rag down here in hopes that it'll catch the screw should it fall. Inspect the inside for some crazy calcium buildup. This isn't too bad. The new shower cartridge comes with O-ring lubricant. Remove the handle from the old shower diverter. There's a small screw inside of here. Remove the stoppers. We are gonna reuse these stoppers. Apply a small amount of O-ring lubricant to the two seals on the tub cartridge. Hot to the left, cold to the right. There are two nipples. These nipples will sit in the back of this shower assembly. Twist it left and right to make sure the nipples are in those holes. Don't forget to replace the O-ring on this cover. Add a little O-ring lubricant around the entirety of the O-ring. Place the cover back on and put the screws back on. Then I turn the water back on and check for drips before I put the rest back together. Set your stoppers. Give it a test.
Let's head to the next one. We got the diverter all the way in and water coming out of the shower head. Don't want to lose that. Shaft is stuck to this. I think. All right. Here's our diverter. this whole thing out makes it easier to work on <sighs> Sit for a little bit. There we go. piece slides over. Let's test it out. <laughs> Golden. Now I gotta order some parts, ran into a plumbing problem earlier got to track down some parts for that and then hopefully get back to knocking out some more work orders so earlier i was working on uh another shower cartridge not the one that i did in the video but another one and it kept leaking and this o-ring went bad this is what the shower cartridge sits in i mean but can you believe this crap 60 dollars for two small pieces of plastic and an o-ring i've checked other websites and the price is the same even from the growy website itself if anyone knows where to get these cheaper hit me up that's my last off. Go 
Why look like eBay? I take my toes dry. Isn't there a buck five? You got it. Thanks, that's fair. Nice you. Oh, you raised something from a dollar to a dollar. Is that such a big deal? Well, that's 10%, so percentage-wise, it's not so tiny. Did I step into something here? I shouldn't have gotten into a business that we're all dealing with people. This bracket's angled down. As far as I'm not opening and closing, it's going to hit some lube on these strings really does do wonders. Oh yeah, smooth as can be. Power to the exhaust fan. Exhaust fan does not come on. Let's check it out. just fried so I'm gonna replace the motor and the fan we've got another motor here and a fan it's not the same one but they don't make these anymore they're over 20 years old so gotta do with what we can get well there was some screws that come with this fan and some nuts I can't find them maybe the old ones will work I doubt it Put this over our new motor. Brought these machine screws, just as I thought. Oh. These are not the right nuts. Nope, not even gonna try it. Like, I had a pack of these screws just for this, and they get up and they disappear. Or nuts, I'm sorry. Today is not a good day. It just spins forever. Oh my god. I think I found some. Oh, perfect. Hell yeah. Now I can just pop, pop this bad boy on. Beautiful.
Leute. All right, I'm back home now, put in uh, about a 10 hour day. Now it's time to sit back. I'm gonna dump some footage and then edit the vlog for two or three hours till that's done and drink some beers. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Definitely makes going to work much more enjoyable having all of your smiling faces around me. Until the next vlog, I'm Dave. Hope to see you there.